Graphic design is everywhere. It is used all over the world. As a matter of fact, you see thousands of examples of graphic designs every single day. It's just that you don't realize it. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the basics of graphic designs and everything you need to know about graphic design. So, what is graphic design? Graphic design focuses more on visual communication, which means expressing an idea in the best way for the viewer to understand. So what does this mean? It means that graphic design is used to illustrate an idea. For example, if you have an idea in your mind, just tell the idea to a graphic designer and the graphic designer will bring your idea into reality. So graphic design is used to express and illustrate an idea. What are the elements of graphic design? Graphic design elements are the most fundamental ingredients from which all designs in the world are being created. It serves as the raw material used together by graphic designer to achieve a certain design. So these elements are combined together to create a certain design. So these elements are the line, color, value, shape, texture, space, and form. So these are the elements in which graphic designer used together to get a certain design from scratch. We have the principles of graphic design. These principles are the way or a set of rules or set of guidelines in which you must follow when using the elements of graphic design. Principles are balance, which means you must position your elements in your design accurately. That is your text, your images, and all your elements in your design must be arranged accurately. Number two, we have unity. All your elements in your design must create a set of relationship among each other. That is, your element your design must create a sense of unity in your design. For example, using a blue color palette throughout your design creates a sense of unity in that design. So you must be consistent with the use of elements or use of colors in your design. Number three, we have the scale and proportion, which means you must give the elements or your text or your pictures in your design the very right size. Because making your elements or your pictures too big or too small will not make your design professional. So you give it the very right size. Hierarchy, which means you must let your audience know the most important aspect of your design down to the less important aspect of your design. So whenever an audience stumbles upon your design, so the most important aspect grabs the attention of the viewer. So you must make your um, element larger capture the viewer's attention. That's an emphasis. This is also similar to um, the hierarchy, which means you must make the most important element in your design larger in size or brighter in color. Because if you make it larger in size and brighter in color, it captures the viewer's attention and it grabs the viewer's attention. So you must make the most important element in your design larger in size and brighter in color. And contrast. This is also similar to the unity I mentioned earlier, which means using the same elements throughout your design that you must be consistent with the use of element and the use of colors in your design because it creates a sense of unity in that design for example check out this flyer i made recently on my channel i i am consistent with the blue color i use on the flyer and the polygon shape i'm consistent with my shape throughout the design and this makes it to create a sense of unity in that design so number seven which is the space which means the empty part of the design Majority of all graphic designers out there tends to fill out all space in their design. For example, the flyer. You must allow enough white space in your design because it creates a sense of unity and it makes your design very beautiful. So, whenever you want to design or you are designing a flyer, you must leave enough white space so that it can make your design very neat and uncluttered. For a graphic designer, you must understand and know the usage of the elements of design and the principles of design because noise helps you to build your design skills. So the combination of the seven principles of design and the combination of the seven elements of design brings about the word called graphic design. So you must understand the two so that it can help you build your design skill. Graphic designer. There are a lot of softwares used by graphic designers out there. So, for example, I use CorelDRAW on this channel to create a lot of designs and flyers and logos on this channel. So, 
there are many and a lot of softwares used by graphic designers examples are the corel draw adobe photoshop adobe illustrator and adobe indesign and many more so if you know any other softwares used by graphic designers kindly comment them in the comment section so that i'm going to answer you and all those and others that don't know all these softwares can check them out so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you did kindly give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe my name is Ayomidu Rashogo and I'm signing out.